Yeah, I think in a society which shared out things fairly, if you get a big increase in productivity, everybody should be better off. Mm. But if you can replace lots of people by AIs, then the people who get replaced will be worse off and the company that supplies the AIs will be much better off and the company that uses the AIs. So it's going to increase the gap between rich and poor. And we know that if you look at that gap between rich and poor, that basically tells you how nice a society is. If you have a big gap, you get very nasty societies in which people live in walled communities and put other people in mass jails. It's not good to increase the gap between rich and poor. The International Monetary Fund has expressed profound concerns that generative AI could cause massive labour disruptions and rising inequality and has called for policies that prevent this from happening. I read that in the Business Insider. So have they, they given about... any idea of what the policies should look like? No. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, if AI can make everything much more efficient and get rid of people for most jobs or have a person assisted by AI doing many, many people's work... It's not obvious what to do about it. Universal basic income? Give, so, give everybody money? Yeah, I, I, I think that's a good start. And it stops people starving. But for a lot of people, their dignity is tied up with their job. I mean, who you think you are is tied up with you doing this job, right? Yeah. And if we said, we'll give you the same money just to sit around, that would impact your dignity.